morning folks so uh, 10 to 5 in the morning left Edinburgh about 40 minutes ago um, we are on a hike today Michael where are we going we have we are heading to Victoria Bridge um, sort of between Bridge of Orkey and Glen Coe I'm not quite sure how you categorise it um, to do two minerals Stop Gavar and Stop Quarry and Odea I think it is from memory ok so route goes from Victoria Bridge up the West Highland Way we approach along the tarmac road and eventually reach a green bothy building where we turn to the right follow this path up to the main bulk of the hill before we then turn up onto the ridge line where we follow the zigzags and into the boulders and up onto Stob Coria there. So nearly seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, parked up at Victoria Bridge as planned. I think it's going to be a busy one today. There's already about seven or eight vans and cars in the in the car park as well. But who can really blame them? We'll follow this track here um, until we get to obviously a marker that will take us through the forest and if we follow our route we'll be going round there in the meantime that's us off and away And we're on to more of a country track here. So, which is the marker was back there. And that breaks you off from the main road up to this. And of course, as you can see, symbolizes you're getting a wee bit more towards Monroe routes. Um, so we'll start inclining soon. Perfect to break in the new boots. I've got a pair of mammoths on due to my leg and ankle issues I've stay with a high ankle boot but they're still light whereas Michael's rocking the approach shoes which last sportiva and the mammoths so recent buys that's us dealt with the sort of I wouldn't call it a scramble but that's us dealt with a bit where you've got to walk around the side of the bog going slightly up the hill you can and round and the path's a bit coming and goy but now we seem to be onto a more solid version as we head up towards the Bialik. There. There's a couple of guys in front of us and um, there was umpteen cars at the car park. I don't know if Liam's mentioned that already. Uh, so Today's route will take us up and over oh, that Monroe first, I believe, with that one being the second. And then the waterfall, I don't know if the camera will make it out, but there's a scar in the landscape for the waterfall. And that's the exit route.
right. So we started off down there where the guy is. Snaked a week path up to this point. And now, as you see, Liam is making his way up to the ridge. It's way beyond there. Michael, geese a wave. Michael, Michael, geese a wave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, sneaking up here. The summit's somewhere over there, so shouldn't be too far away. And here's the first cairn, summit number one. I'll be touching that. Stop, acquire, adair is where we're currently sitting, which is in Argyle and Butte. Um, it's about half nine in the morning, so um, next we'll be going on to number two, which is a wee bit more technical, but um, should be interesting. So we'll probably sit here for a couple of minutes and we'll take it from there. That's where we started, Loch Tulla. What, Loch Tullock's over there? Loch Tulla, is that thing in front of you? Aye. And then, see the river, it winds. So yeah. the car, we came down kind of through the side of that wood, so behind where that kind of mound there is, yeah. is the car park. You know, the path, I think the road that we walked in is along there. So a fair chunk of distance then, if that's yeah. the lock down there, and then we there's went all the way around basically. Yep, there's a failed, failed tad bit of distance. So for the second section we come down off Stop Corridor there, down to the Alloch. Quick progress, <clears throat> you can see there's an exit path but we don't take that, we're going to carry on to 2nd Monroe, up very gradually onto the ridge, there's the Anik Eger where the wee V is and onto Stop Gavar. Straight off number one, slight descent down here, and then we're dropping down there onto the ridge and uh, onto number two. Now, as I said, a bit more technical, there's a scramble here as well, um, there's a ridge involved, so we're going to give that a go now. Well, we get off this nonsense first, which is just moss covered over the rocks, so you just got to watch out for any gaps that you could lose your ankle in. <laughs> but if you're careful, it should be fine.
Right, so after winds died down, we're following this path through the rocks. It'll take us down to Bialik at 663 meters. And then one of these ridges I expected this one is what we're going back up. And we're going to be faced with the terrifying Anna Eager. Although it's not as terrifying as this neighbouring Glencoe, apparently. Okay, so we just came through a big chunk of crags and stone. There's probably more, more boulders on the way number two than there was all the way up to summit one. So, but we came, i turn this round here, we came from down there through that dip. The wind's pretty heavy actually, so um, it kind of pushes you back a wee bit. But that's where we're heading. Yeah, like as Liam said, 660 metres-ish. Quarter past 10, so we're doing my life fantastic. Really good, really good. Three and a half hours in. Sorry for shouting, the wind picks up again on this side of the mountain, so... But up there, um, should get a glimpse of the Anik Yep, Anik Yeek up there. Notch, Notch Bridge, that's what it stands for. Notch is in the, in the ridge line. Yep, Notch is in the ridge line and you can see some of the No. Still here. I'm sure it'll melt at some point, but for now, let's have a wee look. Mainly ice. Right, let's just keep on going up this bugger. And that's where our cairn should be hiding. So, after a fair bit of scrambling and trekking up and up and up over the ridge, and it's over there as well, I believe. But hey, stop a bit. That's the summit number two of the day, the final one. Job done. Okay, the final section, often considered the hardest, the descent because you've already done the summits. So we quickly descend on this route. It comes right down, the, basically down the side of the mountain, past the waterfall, back onto the path, back down to Victoria Bridge. And there we go. All right, so following the path, Liam's taking over leading the way. I've been leading most of it. I think we're down past the 700 meter contour. So 300 meters. We're getting down to, it's like gradually coming down now. We're getting into the moors. Um, so it's mainly just moss, heather and dry grass for the sun. But we're uh, making good time. And uh, yeah, we'll just get our way through there, back to the forest. See how we go on from that. 
Cool, right. Not really clear exactly what the path is, but basically, basically we're following this zigzag path down. Eventually we'll get down into the glen and then the road out back to the car. All right. All right. That's the descent done. Yep. Um, pretty much. Maybe just a wee bit more, but we're pretty much back into the glen. The river's next to us. Assuming we have to cross that at some point. Yep. It does mention on the Walk Highlands that we have to cross it and therefore end up on the, the main path back through to where we started. Yep. So, not too much longer to go. Maybe another hour, an hour and a half at the most back to the car. Sounds so, about right. Should see us back in a decent time. Right, okay, onwards yep. to the car. Let's go. Hey. Alright. So, on a proper tarmac road again now. Yeah. These are me checking in for the final time because that's us done today. We're only 0.2 miles away from the car park. So, so um, <laughs> just noticed a little uh, turn off point that we should have used earlier, but anyway, the days are away because we're done. Um, as I said, just literally 10 minutes away from the car. Um, done a big day, it's been roasting. Um, such good weather for it, and you know, it's a great build up to bigger trips ahead because we've got. Um, trying out some new kit, we've both got some new uh, approach shoes, boots um, and just different stuff, I've even got OEX shorts on which I've not worn shorts on a hike in a while but, but the, winning, the winning item of the new stuff today has got to be the hat what was that mate? I'm saying the winning item of today has to be the hat, the hat. <laughs> yep I've got one as well Never thought I'd see the day, but I usually wear a cap, but it covered my ears, back of my neck, front of my head, the whole lot, so it is decent, but what was decent was today. It's tiring, it's a big route, but we're looking forward to getting some cold juices at the car and maybe not nipping into Tesco on the way back. Exactly, and on a positive note, this route is eight to nine hours on Walk Highlands, eight to nine hours on Walk Highlands, we are 7.52, just ticked on. The car's about a minute that way. Yeah. So, so we've done good. We've done good. So, mind and follow and subscribe, guys. And you'll see everything on social media later. Um, so, check out some pictures and videos on Facebook and Insta. And the video will be on its way soon as well. Check with you later from the climbing ground. Uh-uh.